Hey yo, what is up champions fam, it's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. Now this is going to be short, sweet, and brief and right to the point because overnight WWE Champions made a couple of changes. You know, a couple slight changes, a little update so to speak, basically to make up for everything that's been going on with all the ludicrous deals that have been running with the outrageous outcome of the ultimate deletion loot and blitz champions has decided to go ahead and give back to the community one way or the other so let's go ahead and check it out first and foremost let's go to battle and hit the limited time tours and when you scroll past the book for the superstar shakeup tours there are two new books included we have a champions tour as well as a vip bonus tour for pay to play champions so all free-to-play champions are going to have an opportunity at the champions tour and then pay-to-play champions are going to be able to double up with the champions tour as well as the vip bonus tour if you are a subscriber why is this important well both of these, by completing them both, you are going to be walking away with a ton of keychains for the Superstar Shake-Up keychain pulls for Superstars or Shards. Then you are also walking away with Superstar Shake-Up coins so you can do your vault pulls for a chance to acquire Attitude Era Acrobat Rey Mysterio. But finally, the best thing about these tours is on the side nodes, once you complete them, you are going to be getting a bunch of player appreciation boxes stacked to the brim with coins, health packs, TP, token cases, props. The, the possibilities are endless and they are always a good look within Champions. So thank you, Champions team, for both the Champions Tour for everybody and the bonus tour for those who have invested their disposable income. Following that, we also have a new upgrade to the Faction Feud coming up. And what is this upgrade? Well, it's easy. The mid-card fill bonus has been changed so more people can run it. So now when you go to your mid-card fill bonus for plus 40% damage towards purple gems as well as plus 25% damage towards black gems, you are now going to be able to run it if you at least have a three-star variation of either Luke Harper, Modern Era Powerhouse, or Striker. Then it comes to Randy Savage, again, Attitude Era Showbo, as well as Trickster, and Legend Acrobat. And finally, you got Kevin Nash. You're going to have the Attitude Era Powerhouse and Striker, and finally, the New Generation Showbo. So this is pretty solid. I can't be mad at that. We got a new thing with the feud, so it's more fair, more reasonable for people to run it. So more than likely, they look at it like this. There's more people in the game that have three stars compared to those who have four stars. So even it up a little bit. And we still have Volkov and Austin still representing in the top slot and the acrobats in the undercard. So that is definitely a good look for everybody there. And on on top of that, we also saw the return of Player's Choice. Now, I'm going to say this right here and now. Player's Choice used to mean something. I used to big up this all the time. And though it says posters only, it literally gets, you know, degraded just because of the people that they continue to run in here. I mean, no one wants to see the Juggernaut Reigns or A-List or Miz, IRS, Big Show. These are guys that we see all the time. Take these guys off and make it a more solid pool. You know, keep, okay, granted, you could keep the MPs on there, but at least have them at three-star silver, you know? Have Phenom, have a Trap Gem guy like Mahal on there, obviously have Tough Seth, you know, but they need to get better with this because player's choice used to mean something and now it doesn't. And this is just a suggestion I'm throwing out there for y'all. Player's choice is obviously an easy cash grab because everyone's going to be looking at it and like, oh my God, I want these people. I want these people. Look, this is, this is how real this is. I feel champions, if they're listening, should do this to player's choice. Player's choice should be made into a once in a blue moon banner. And what happens on this banner is this. Everybody on the first pull, it has to be a multi-pull. A multi so, for instance, your first 23 pull, 
your first 23 pull of player's choice, you get to choose three champions that you would like the most out of everybody on that banner. And when you do that, the, that 23 pull, you are guaranteed at least one of the three champions that you chose at a high star rarity. And once you have done that pull, it goes away and then the regular rates and everything return. Because what's the point of calling it player's choice if you don't really have a choice? A lot of people have gotten lucky on here. I mean, I still remember when I pulled my three-star silver AJ Styles off a 30 pull when it came to player's choice back in the day. But nowadays, it's it's the rates still aren't there just because of the clutter that they have down bottom with Juggernaut Reigns, you know, NXT Dean, IRS, guys that are good, but they've been on so many banners already. You want to make this very special. You know, you have guys like Razor and Farouk on this banner. You make it a one-time guaranteed pull for 23. You choose three champions. At the end of that pool, you're at least getting one of the three champions that you chose. Then it goes back to the normal rates. It's something that makes it better than it just being a obvious cash grab banner like it is supposed to be. But that's the video, y'all. And those are the updates. Player's Choice is back for a limited time. It doesn't even have a timer on here to tell you when it's going away. So act on it if you wish. But again, I really feel that Player's Choice needs to become the guaranteed three-star or four-star banner. You know, one multi, one multi per player. You do your 23, you pick three champions, you get one of those three champions guaranteed at three-star or four-star variation, and then it resets to the regular banner with the regular rates and drops, and that would make it worth it. That guarantees money, and it guarantees players what they want because at least they know they might be walking away with something they want compared to walking away with something they are more than likely feeling they're going to get in the end. So what do y'all think? about these brand new updates what do you think about the limited time tours the champions tour and the vip bonus tour if you completed it already as you can see i've already done that and also what do you think about the brand new update to the mid card fill bonus when it comes to the faction feud mad love to every single one of y'all Leave a like, leave a dislike. Bad times don't last. Crown ones do. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you leave a dislike, please be sure to leave your constructive criticism in the comments below. Have any suggestions, questions, have any advice or needed, leave all that in the comments below. And most importantly, if you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while, but you just haven't gotten around to it yet, but you like what you saw and heard and you want to learn more about this incredible game, WWE Champions by Scopely. We hit a little rough spot, but we're trying to bounce back. Best believe we are going to get through it together. And the only way you're going to do that is by letting me in by simply dropping a people's elbow on that subscribe button as well as hitting a razor's edge on that bell icon to receive all future notifications from the channel mad love to every single one of you are my beloved hashtag champions fam good pulling good feuding good blitzing because it's definitely a good time to be a champion no matter what we are going to bounce back like it's nothing woken matt that's just one bump in the road we got many many more footsteps to place down in that sand on our journey together in champions and let's build a empire of greatness together as part of the beloved hashtag champions fam thank you to everyone who supports who's supporting me thank you to everyone who's supporting all of those who are doing what they can for the champions community stay blessed y'all and until next time leave your thoughts leave your thoughts on everything from player's choice surprise return to the update to the feud lineup to the limited time tours make sure to get those done to get those bonus resources especially especially if you're not going to do it for the vault pools do it for those player appreciation boxes peace crown era baby top 100 coming